for me, it's, it's all about everyone being able to have the same dreams and the same opportunities to become whatever you want in life. Why do you both think it's important to empower women? No one should ever be limited by anything. Uh, you should be, everyone should be able to dream, have dreams, uh, dare to dream and feel like they can achieve whatever they want in life. And for there to be any kind of barrier because you're a woman or your skin color or background or anything like that, for me, it's just unacceptable. That should not be the case. And that it's been, that, that the fact that it has been the case for so long, is just, yeah, it's really frustrating to think about. So for me, it's, it's all about everyone being able to have the same dreams and the same opportunities to become whatever you want in life. That was really well said. Mm. For every year there is coming new steps towards where we want to be with women's football. It's so big and important uh, that they find the value in women's football, that they want to do that. It's, it shows that we are on the right way. Uh, like you say, putting money in women's football as well. Like it's not just for fun anymore. It's like big, important people and organizations see the value in women's football. So. Yeah, for every year that will come as well, I think it will just develop even more. I'm wondering, because I know that the two of you spent a long time apart doing the whole long distance relationship thing, playing for different teams. Now you're finally back together, same team, same city. Um, if you can feel a shift in your game, just knowing that like, you know, everything is, is centralized in one place. You don't have part of your brain somewhere else and, you know, your feet over here. If you can feel that that's affected your gameplay at all, or emotionally, mentally, how it feels. I haven't really thought of if it had affected my game, actually, but it's an interesting question because it probably has, especially with this year, with, with the pandemic and how difficult it's been with travels. And yeah, we had to stay here over Christmas so we couldn't go home to see our families. And I think if I would have experienced this whole thing alone, maybe that would have affected my uh, performance out on the pitch. Probably it would have, because uh, your personal life has such an importance to you and, and how you feel your mental health is so important. So I definitely think that it has affected uh, in a positive way. And like you say, just having everything in the same place, having your almost life uh, fulfilled, like a fulfilled life, is it mm. means a lot for sure. Yeah. And also the day when we recover, like I said, we don't have to think about if we have one one day off that we want to go visit each other. Like now we can actually be here hundred percent. Like not our thoughts is in yeah, for you in Wolfsburg mm. and my, me in England. But now we are here together and it's easier to just think about something else as well. Not football, but and do something uh, when we're off. So yeah, of, of course it's much better like this. <laughs> Thanks for letting me be a little nosy there. Appreciate it. Anything before a match? Superstitions, rituals, any fun stuff like that? <laughs> I uh, I used to have a lot when I was younger, and then I was very superstitious. I had to like if it was an evening game, I went around and I cleaned my house all the time, and everything had to be tidy. And and I knew like if I didn't do that, then I would have a bad game. Or I had a lot of those thoughts in my head. I think now as I've gone older, those kind of things has has gone away a bit, but I still do like, I still put on like my left boot first and then my right boot and my left chin guard and my right chin guard. So I have a couple of, of things that I just do now uh, that I have to do. Um, I really don't know why I just have them. Yeah, yeah no, I don't have that much because I know that I would forget it and then I would be stressed <laughs> if I forget it. So I expect I don't have anything like this. The only thing I've got for this season is that I'm going out as the last person. Oh, that's yeah. something new, like that I should go behind Sam Kerr. That's like just something. I never done something like this before, but yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's the only thing actually. Because yeah, like I said, if if I have stuff I have to do to make me feel good about the game, going into the game, then I'm sure I, I would forget something. And then if I find out that I forgot it, then I'll be stressed. <laughs> Ladies, that's all that I had. Thank you so much for making this time and good luck with everything. Hope to talk to you again soon. Thank you. Thank you.